What's up guys, Leslie Robbins here for Young Hollywood coming to you from Miami Beach. I am inside the Fountain Blue Hotel taking you behind the scenes of this culinary playground. This property has been around over five decades. Mm -hmm. Legendary. Talk about the restaurants, the bars, the scene that you are looking after here. Sure. We have over 14 restaurants, lounges, bars, um, all full service. We partner with Scott Kona with Scarpetta, uh, rustic Italian cuisine, soulful Italian cuisine, as he likes to say. Uh, we partner with Hakkasan out of London, Michelin rated Cantonese cuisine, the first in the United States, in fact, the Hakkasan here. We have a uh, Latin brasserie, Vita. Uh, we have uh, Chef Benny, our sushi master, one of the best sushi masters in the world, in my opinion, in Blade. So it really is all complete. Behind me, you have massive fish tanks. This is uh, Waterworld, and this is kind of like a market for us. Our program, Bluefish, is a uh, program where we have uh, three full-time fishermen, a captain. We have a 44-foot commercial fishing vessel named Bluefish. With that, we've purchased 2,500 stone crab tags, 2,500 spiny lobster tags, reef fishing license, blue fishing license. So really all your local seafood is coming out of the program. So you have 3,000 gallons of ocean water here fed on a weekly basis. So once a week it is run out and it is refilled. So it's constantly fresh. So they are in their natural environment. So literally when the chefs come down and they want to pull a lobster, they're taking the lobster right out of the ocean. So it is going from the ocean to your table. We're going to go fishing now. I'm going fishing? So we'll wait, coax them over wait, here first. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. You're going to be wait. safe. You're going to be safe. It's okay. <gasps> wait, what came out of it? Oh my God. There we go. He's See, not just like happy. that. Oh, he's fine. Watch. Here we go. We're just going to grab him. Once he's, once he's out of the water. Now you tell me that's not fresh, right? And that's it. I'm going to pass him over to Chef Neil. He's going to take you guys to Scarpetta and make a beautiful pasta with him. Okay, Leslie, it's time for the pot in Scarpetta. Do you want to tell him? I think he knows. So we're going to take this beautiful lobster straight from our tanks. We brought it here. We're going to cook it now, and then we're going to de-shell it. And we're going to take the meat and prepare it for our lovely pasta dish. Here we go, we're going to drop the uh, pasta. So inside this pasta, we've taken the eggs from the lobster. We've blended it in. So this pasta is going to turn red like a lobster would. When we make the sauce, it consists of a stock made from the shells of the lobster, so we don't waste anything. A little bit of uh, sofrito, which is uh, garlic and shallots, just cooked down in olive oil with a little bit of chili. And we're gonna add a little bit of our Scott Conant, world famous Pomodoro sauce. It smells so good. Well, that's what we do here. We don't make bad food. Of course not, of course not. Has there been anything that you've ever wanted to tweak? Like it was done and you said, nah, I gotta go back in. Well, a lot of the time we hold a high standard, so we'll, we'll stop food from going out and we'll remake it. If it's not right, it doesn't go out. So I'm going to add the pasta now. Out it comes. We put a little bit of the water from the pasta. That's got the starch. And we're going to toss this noodle in. Here Our he friend. is. Wait, we didn't name him. You can name him. Fred. Fred. Fred the Lobster. Fred the Lobster. OK. We're honoring him because we're going to eat him. That beautiful lobster meat's gone in and we don't want to overcook it. It's already been blanched, three quarters cooked. Right. Nice bit of fresh parsley, just for the herb. And I'm going to finish with a lovely bit of extra virgin olive oil. You want me to do that? Oh. You can do that, and okay. I'm going to toss it up. How much? Ready? How much? Uh, about three seconds. You ready? One. You hold it straight, oh. and I'm going to toss. You ready? Look at that. Oh. Teamwork. Talk about attention to detail, your little. Absolutely. Well, Scarpetta is famed for its rustic cuisine. But we still like to pre prepare it and serve it in a manner that's befitting the restaurant, you know? Style, elegance, great flavors. And now, the final touch to this dish. Make sure we're good, clean. And what we do here with the pasta, we have these lovely little glass cloches, which keep the pasta as fresh as possible to the guest. The guest is me. Fred time. It's Fred time. Here we go. With Fred. There he is. Now, how do you go with pasta and the lobster, or lobster first? Or Whatever you want to do. I mean, I, I'm a big fan of just getting straight in there, getting as much as you can on your fork and, and getting it in. I'm not very elegant when it comes to eating pasta. Oh, that was well done. It's perfect. Amazing. Cheers. Cheers. This is amazing. Thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll have a drink. You'll have a drink. Oh, yes. 